Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good uplift or, you know, just some insight you truly need it, please give a thumbs up and share. It would be greatly appreciated. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Uh, we can't control the cards that we are dealt. We can just have, uh, just have to strongly play the game to win even when we feel like we we have a losing hand that is so true i think I, I forgot i wrote that on somebody's comment the other day and i was like dang that's fire um but the title of this is gonna be you know you're you're, you're moving uh what did i say i was gonna put on there you uh you're moving through life differently after realizing this you know um a lot of times we go through life and is not what it turned out to be you know we can have our plans out like what's your two-year uh, goals or two-year you know whatever you're trying to unfold what's your five-year goals and stuff like that and life can you know put you in twists and turns and you know it's not easy to be able to flip the switch switch on uh, challenging changes you know especially if we've been moving a certain vibration for certain um, times we're seeing things in a certain way we view things in a certain way we talk a certain way we focus on the wrong things uh, or we focus we, we have a lack of focus and you know uh, different things that we're going through right now you know a lot of people are going in solitude a lot of people are just just doing their own soul searching you're doing a lot of things that you are coming to terms with you know a lot of things is hard to you know you're letting go of things that's no longer serving you having acceptance of things of how they just unfolded already as it is trusting uh the universe got your back you know they show you all the time it got your back you know a lot of times you know it, it can feel like um why does life have to be so hard you know why i always got to constantly go through things with you know my family my husband my wife you know my children you know my job my finances you know trying to maintain you know focus like that a lot of these things take place in our life to help us grow you know we get put we get put in in situations not to punish us or break us down to our ultimate weakness but being able to find your 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 strength through those hard times through those dark times you know and a lot of times you know at times we can give gratitude for all the good things we, we don't give gratitude for all the wrong things and sometimes it's even hard for me to do that but then when I allow myself to really step back I see that God and universe is nurturing me a lot of times they got to break us to help us heal a lot of times they got to show you know they got to you know spoil the rod to serve a child whatever they you know, <laughs> spell the rod to serve a child whatever but a lot of times you, you have to go through that pain that leads to ultimate purpose and you know a lot of times it's just like you really leaning on faith and that's what it's really doing right now everything is going up where it's like really shaking up there's a lot of people they're probably coming into blessings right now you looking like I, I don't work on mine why where the heck is mine at you know or you you seeing like you've been really been stretched out you're doing different things there are many times that you you know you may have want to give up you know different things that just really didn't go your way it just seemed like the more positive you put out the more negative comes in you have to understand the devil's busy you know and a lot of times we have a bad habit of giving him something to do <laughs> so we have to be like no kick rocks without no socks hit your teeth on pavement and leave me alone you know you have to be at those times where the the devil is not going to defeat you you know, God's going to vindicate you in every, you know, every way that he possibly have for you, you know, and these are the different things that is showing us, even though we, we have to be at that vibration of just going on faith, not by what we see, not by what we think and not what we think we know, because not everything is what it seems. You never know what is going on behind the scenes for you. You know, if you're moving good, you know, you're allowing yourself to forgive. And a lot of times it's hard to forgive. Uh, situations that really put you in a rut you know made you you know uh, put walls that made you not want to get close to people and you have to be able to make that choice there's some people that's worth fighting for 
you know, but you have to make sure that y'all both fighting for the same thing, you know. Um, different times where you, you already know life and situations with people or just with situations alone is not perfect. You have to be able to, you know, uh, go through these things. You know, a lot of times, even, you know, for example, if you're in a twin flame relationship, you know, for the ones that are not dearly departed, but, you know, even with them, they're, they're over there on the uh, spirit realm that's really helping guide you through these different things so you can be able to open your heart up to not allow yourself to be going, moving through pain, moving through fear of projection, moving through doubt, you know, a uh, lack of self-esteem, a lack of worth, you know, all these different things and it's showing you, you know, from different situations you've been placed in, it's adding you to have, you know, make sure you're taking care of self first. You know, a lot of times, well, listen, empath, we're taking care of everybody. And then when we need taking care of ourselves, who you got to go to? You know, you can't importance your own cup. You know, you don't have no more energy because you gave it out to everybody else. And a lot of times, you know, um, even when I was doing videos, like I remember when I first started, it was like about two years ago. I mean, I was doing like 12, 13 videos a day. You know, and I'm just like, it'll be sometime I'm running on fumes. I'm like, Dad, when's the last time I had a break? I mean, it's just some, it's some of my soul fam that was talking to me like, girl, you need to slow down. You know, and it was just like, I had so many different things that, you know, I was going through at the time. You know, so many different things that I was guided to be able to talk about. Um, and then opening up is being a part of the Hayoka tribe. You know, not even really knowing. I'm like, what is that? You know, because when I first came out with it, I thought me and the, uh -uh, and the sorcerer chief about to fight. Because I was like, what did you call me? <laughs> you calling me out my name? You know, it did different things like that. And it was very amusing. It, it was something very interesting. Never a dull moment with me. But, you know, going through all these different things. You know, the way life ends up, you know, life tends to surprise you at times. You know, a lot of times you, you could have been that one that felt janky. All the time, I know my mom used to call me janky. It's like, you always getting into something. You always get into a fight. You always losing jobs left and right. You know, you always cussing somebody out. And I just thought it was just me and my poor choices, even though I did make poor choices. I ain't going to lean it all up on fate and, you know, my toxic, you know, attachments and all that stuff. But I did make poor choices. But going through these situations, it helped me really learn myself. Like, don't jump into things just because stuff is so uncomfortable. Don't hit, you know. Go guided towards the next thing coming because you don't like the situation you're in. Because a lot of times, universe and God are going to put you in uncomfortable situations because they're telling you to better yourself. They're telling you to let go of things. You work on that every single day. And a lot of times, those things will come back and test you. But those are the situations that God is putting in your way to see. Are you still allowing yourself to try to control circumstances? Are you still allowing yourself to focus on people and situations that are out of your control? Are you trying to manipulate things to make sure you, you, you're... You, you putting a person in a karmatic situation you know different stuff like that and you're learning to work on that every day you know when you know at the end of the day you can be grateful like okay I made it through a whole day you know sometimes we have those long days it, it just seems like everything working on your nerve even you breathing is working your own nerves and when you get to the other you know towards the end of the day you, you have to be able to allow yourself if you can even get to that point where you know you're you're up to here in aggravation you know sometimes we gotta breathe you know going through these transitions it takes a lot out of you it's very draining it's very exhausting you know um healing through karmic cycles you know you're allowing yourself to break away toxic patterns from ourselves because all the main things we're doing right now the main topics that we're going through right now is believing in yourself having faith within yourself in the universe and God letting go you know focus on the present being present not you know the past done taught you you know your present is the inspiration you know your goal is you know is preparing you for your future you know being able to allow yourself to even though you, you may be in toxic you know cycles and karmic cycles you're ending those things these are some things are not wanting to break apart the devil don't want you to come out of the norm the devil wants you to stay in low vibrations. The devil wants you to sit up here and be in toxic vibrations. And these are the things you're working hard for every day. And you, when you get to yourself, it's like, okay, you know, being able to say, what were you grateful for through this day? You know, even though, you know, I'm like, okay, I went through a whole day, even though negative things was coming up, it was just showing me what, what lessons did I learn from this situation. Being able to show gratitude, forgiving myself first and foremost, if it was something that really triggered me, and allowing myself, okay, this is something 
that I need to work on. This is something I need to, you know, allow myself to keep healing on, you know, um, and being able to be better at that, you know, because a lot of times we don't realize when, when situations is coming up that really triggers us like that, it's showing us where we truly need to heal. And you work on that every single day. It's not going to be something that's going to happen overnight. But when you're determined, that's what universe is looking at. They know, you know, universe knows what you're going through. At times you can get up irate. You know, I've been there a lot of times. Like, y'all see what the hell I'm going through. Y'all see I'm working hard. Y'all see what's going on. You know, but then it's just like you have to be able to trust that process. You're going through different things that's unfolding something on you. You know, you're guiding towards a part of yourself you didn't even know about. You're discovering more things about yourself um, that really can truly surprise you. It's just like uh, today, because I know it was just like earlier today, because the video probably won't come in until like tonight, because I'm uploading now, that um, I did, you know, I, I said I'm bringing to uh, my videos uh, the Love Jones Cypher. You know, it's just like food, food for thought to heal the soul, you know, um, and just being able to put out little, you know, like little poetic Things like Maya Angelou, I always loved her. Um, and she had really deep poems, so it was just like, you know, I love those different things and being able to try it, you know. And it shows you when you're stepping out of your comfort zone. Like, that was something new for me. I don't, I don't do stuff like that, you know. I'm trying to sit up here and like, I ain't no rapper or nothing like that. But it, it's just like I know when I write stuff down, you know. And it's just like even writing love notes to yourself, you know, when you're going through something, you know. You never know what that. You get into a dull moment where, uh, not a dull moment, but a really low moment. And you feel lack of love for yourself. And you write yourself a little note. And this is like, this is for you to read during your moments of doubt. This is what you need, you know, uh, read when you're in a moment of not feeling loved. You know, not feeling accepted, not being hurt. And when you remind yourself of these different things, you go back. You know, it's always your higher self is saying, hey, you're doing great. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. You, you're allowing yourself to work on. And, and even when you have those slip-ups, it's not you don't be hard on yourself because at least... Through this time, you may not have known what you know now. You you're you don't realize you're on your prayer rope, you know, your prayer board of what you pray to get to, you right there. So you prayed, I want to be stronger, I want to be more determined, I want to be complacent, you know, I want to be compliant, you know, I want to allow myself to have faith in myself that I didn't have before. Not allowing myself to listen to the 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 naysayers, not listen to the haters, not listen to the enemy, you know, not even listening to my fears, you know, by allowing myself to know I'm not my thoughts. You know, these things are coming up because, you know, you're going to a failsafe. You know, it's like one of those different things that take place in your life because when you're doing all what you're doing, you have been in a certain vibration, a certain frequency for so long, and you switching that up. That 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 is no easy task to do, especially if you you know you you've gone through a situation where it's hard for you to even let go. You still hold anger towards somebody, and then they're showing you you know you need to have peace. Even though it just seemed like those people are not sorry for what they did. No, they're not sorry in their own way. But this is what, this is how they function. This is what they do. You know, the situation is, is showing you, you don't have to be like that. You still, still send prayers for folks like that. Even though they, I mean, you they don't speak in that love language. And a lot of times, that's what you got to do. Say, I pray for you. I, I don't know what's going on with you. I can't help you. You know, I try, whatever. You know, but I'm praying for you. Because you're dealing with a war with yourself and you're projecting that on me. It don't have nothing to do with me. I'm focusing on me. You know, and you have to be able to understand that everybody don't deal with grief the same way. Because when you're changing, that's a grief period. There's part of yourself that's going through a rebirth. So there had to be a death that was going in. So everybody is going through a grieving process. And a lot of times that feels like a human, you know, you, you think like, oh, I got five books. No, you got a one and a possible. You know, I don't be doing spades, but, you know, be like, how many books you think you got? You know, it's like, oh, no, I don't know. One, two, we're going to say three. Okay, I got about five over here. We're going to play them like that. And you just really got to fool the people. You don't lay your cards out all the time. A lot of times you're going through these healing process. You know, there's a lot of people that don't want to be around you. Or be in the mix that you're in when you're going through struggles, when you're going through pain and resentment and all this stuff. And they see, you know, jackpot come in. Hey, man, what you doing? Where you been at? All of a sudden, everybody start popping up. And it's just like you, you people want your glory but don't want that story. They don't want to deal with the things you had to deal with, what you had to sacrifice, what you had to let go of, what you had to walk away from. All those things, they want to have the glitz and the glamour. You know, people want that story, but they don't want the attachments to what you had to go through to get to that story. You know, people don't want to be a part of the, you know, they want to be a part of the outcome. They don't want to be a part, you know, a part of the process. But now really realizing that's where the choice comes in to see if you worked on being a part of that outcome. 
on how you treated me during that process. And these are the different things you're going through. A lot of times we don't realize things hit rock bottom right before you about to have that major glow up. And it's just like every time you're going through and you're determined, the devil always going to throw something in the mix. Because he don't want you winning. That's why he keeps attaching everything that's close to you. Anything that you really cared about. Things that are very dear, near and dear and close to your heart. They, he will destroy it in every way, shape, form, or fashion. I see so many people are getting things snatched away from them. And you're still trying to move the best way you can. And that's all you can do. Riding on faith. You know, praying for things that, you know, where people are at. You know, because it's getting so bad to where when you're up in, in the 5, 6, 7, D, because I said it's getting to that point where a lot of it, a lot of people are in the 12 D. That that mess is crazy. Where you can see, I'm walking on the streets and stuff like that. I'm seeing harbingers' faces is distorting and stuff, and they can't look me in my face. And I'm looking, hey, how you doing? They looking at me and veer off. And I'm like, oh, you got an attachment. All right, you, it's it's good, you know, and keep on going. And it's like the struggle is really getting real. There's a lot of people that are fighting that new part of themselves. They don't want to do that because they it, it feels like. They don't have that strength to be able to do that. You don't realize there's a lot of people who are intimidated by you because you play your hand and you play it very well. And a lot of times you're going through them changes. Some people will flip up and then show you their book all at one time and you already see they got to lose a hand. Ain't no way in hell. They going to be able to lose, you know, to win that hand. But it's okay. You're going to still be playing. You, you, you're switching up them rules, you know, but you're playing your cards right. Even if you, you don't have all the cards you can, to be able to trump all those different things, you're still playing the best way you can. You're dealing, you're shuffling, you, you're making the moves, you're on that grind, you're learning from all these situations you came into. And it's just like when you're allowing yourself to rock the, the, write those, you know, love letters to yourself. You know, that sounds interesting just by able to, you know, Universe was talking about that. Write universal love letters to yourself. You know, on the moments, you know, you title it the moments I feel in doubt, the moments where I'm feeling like, you know I'm falling short you know things feel like it's just not changing and you write the most beautiful thing to yourself you know uplifting yourself and it's like a you know a letter to your future self we are all going through things we all reading a book and some of those hardest chapters we're not reading out loud you know and those a lot of times that's hard to be able to do you know not everybody has that 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 energy that that you know that hunger that roar that is just ready to devour everything because you have to be in that situation where you know a lot of times we, we have that doubt that we feel like I can't recover from this this is something I know I can't walk away from I can't live without this person you know this person is trying to defeat me in every way possible and stuff like that it wants you to be able to feel that way you know it really wants you to feel that way and it's just like you're you're going through these things to where you have to know you can make it on your own you know, that you're where a lot of times we don't realize we're stuck in that illusion where we feel like life can never be changed. You know, life can not never be the same. I love this person. I love that person. You know, I want to keep these people close. I want them, you know, I'm going all my way out to show them my worth, to let them see I changed. You know, going through all those different things, I've been there, done that. Now it's at that point where I had that mindset where I had to really get aggressive with myself. When you really love me, love doesn't hurt. Love will challenge you. Love will make you fight for good things, not fight for drama, not fight for what, what spot am I having. Am I going to be the middle of the side chick and me and the side chick say, hey, your husband or your wife is cheating on us. You know, you don't want to be in a situation like that because you're going to get into that point. If you love me, you're going to do everything you possibly can to make sure you keep me. Especially if I'm doing the same thing. You know, love is not going to make you jealous off of somebody or keep you all up in drama. You know, constantly be, you know, dealing with pathological liars. People being narcissistic and triggering you. You know, all those different things. And this being able to show you, you're, you're, you're allowing yourself to really talk to yourself in a higher vibe. I know my worth. Whatever standards I got, they're aiming high. If you can't meet those standards or those expectations, because that's what I'm working towards. We, we should be able to work on it together. We on this. I don't got to hold off for you. You ain't got to wait and hold off for me. If it's meant, we'll meet up there. If you can't get to me up on that vibration and you need me to water myself down and bring myself down to your, your, your vibration, this ain't worth my time. Anything that is going to be something to wear in my gut feeling like, all right, see, this is going to make me come out of bag on you. No, I ain't got time for that. And I had to be at that time because I was constantly in situations like that. Now is at my point. I, you you going to know my worth when, when our energies connect. And I'll be like, that's, that's a keeper. 
let me go ahead and make sure that I keep him and this and this and that because he you know I see his worth and I see that he was always not appreciated or he didn't have that one and really wanted him to change in that way or let me see I want to keep her because I see that she you know she is committed I don't like using the word loyal because I ain't no dog or no cat so it's just like that one's all the way that's a ride or die that's the ace right there they're gonna make sure when i'm slipping up they're gonna call me out on it they're gonna tell me the truth you know they're gonna be toward you know with me on the dark times and the light times and you're going through these processes because these are the things we had to go through to understand what what we deserve more of you know don't allow yourself to stoop to somebody's level but just because they want to be low vibrational you ain't got to step low low vibrational a lot of times you gotta let them if they want to fight let them fight you know, they want to be in that, let them be that. You know, there's a lot of people that are in that situation. But there's times where we go through those checklists on trying to see, you know, what did I do? Why did I make this person mad? Why did they treat me like that? You have to understand this. If they're doing that to you, they're doing it to other people too. You weren't the first and you won't be the last. You have to be able to understand. You can, when you're tired of playing that game, you can always walk up and walk out. You know, and be saying, I'm done. I'm done. This is just too draining. You are too exhausting. The situation is exhausting. But I appreciate it. And I always tell people that it is it's great. I'm grateful of my toxic attachments. I'm grateful for my toxic relationships and my experiences because it showed me what I was really truly lacking within. It always mirrors to you what you didn't have, you know, or what you needed to have, or what you need to stop falling yourself short for, or stop allowing yourself to settle. You know, because you'll see different times when you know you, you, you had to be best friends with people first. Or you had to be able to, you know, don't be pouring out, in, you know, people you first meet and you don't know where it's going to and letting them know all your problems. Because a lot of times I tell people when you're dealing with narcissistic, narcissistic relationships and stuff like that and you start telling them all the things you went through, you don't realize that, you, oh, let me tell me about yourself. You don't realize they are putting you in a filter. <laughs> oh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have these expectations to knowing this is nothing they can be able to live by or go by. But when I went through all these different situations, it wasn't just for dating. I went through it with myself. I went through it with my children. I went through it with my parents. I went through it with my friends and family, you know. And so it allowed me to choose me. If it's going to be something where you're constantly always bringing up bad things about me and you're not telling, you just want to tell the the situation where it puts me to bad light I don't need to be around you this is more of an inferior issue and this is something that's empowering you to make me look bad so it can make you feel good or this is a situation where you're intimidated by me you're jealous of me or envy so I'm gonna let you do that if you're hearing about yourself out on the street if you ain't matching that you ain't got to worry about that are you dealing with the people they talking about you know are talking to no so it shouldn't worry you're going through all these different things where you're seeing yourself in a higher light I went through these things because it blessed me to love myself beyond all measures. Not for me to sacrifice my self-worth, my, my sanity, you know, my peace, my, my worth, my, you know, my love, or anything for self. It's not going to anything that is worth anything for you, that is cherished and is precious. It's never going to ask you to jeopardize your peace. Anything that is going to knock you down. It should be something that wants to build you up. You know, when you feel like you can't go on, you got somebody in your corner and saying, I believe in you. You can allow me to know your, you know, your situations or what pain you went through so I don't take you down that road. I'm going to make sure you never experience that situation again. Or there's somebody telling you that. And it's like, you know, I've been through situations like that and I understand what it felt like. You know, I would never take you down that situation. You're dealing with somebody who wants to be a part of that team. So for you to go through that. There'll be a lot of people that are coming out your lives that's not matching that energy that you're trying to reach to. You got pinnacles, you got alkylades, and you got upper echelons you're trying to connect with. So if it's something that you already know, universe and God already knows that's going to hold you back, they're going to put that person out your life. But they're going to constantly test you and see if you learn those lessons from those situations. And at times it can be very hard. It can be very hard to be able to disconnect from that, especially if that was something you've been attached to for a long time. But then it's just like we can't be on that judgment saying, you know, I want to be bothered with that person because there's so much drama, so much toxicity and this and this and that. And you have to be able to understand, OK, yes, that may be true. But what part of you is it that keeps attracting that back to you? Because you'll notice I noticed even with me and my changing and stuff like that. I notice a lot of things when I stop entertaining that and I have you know working on that every day you know 
and it wasn't easy to do. It started showing me, even though when I felt like, oh, nothing is changing, but it changed my mindset. It changed to how, you know, dad, this was always what this was like before. And it was like, yeah, that's been like that the whole time. You just, you, you veils is coming off. So now it's just like you're starting to see things differently. You know, you're really starting to see things differently and you're becoming more sensitive. And when you're becoming more sensitive, there's a lot of things you're not going to tolerate. I know there was a lot of things that I watch, like, um, on YouTube is like the crime, you know, uh, crime videos. You know, I watched that chapter, Bailey Syrian, Christa, uh, Christina Randall, um, what is it, Kylie, uh, what is it, Ken, no, Kendall, Kendall Ray, you know, uh, Coffee Cup Crimes and stuff like that, uh, Lee, Lee Gordon, you know, all those different things. And some of them, I, I mean, I already see this is going to be a trigger tower moment for me. I'm not going to watch that, you know. And I notice, like, Dad, why well, I always got to be so sensitive? Or when I feel like somebody's about to tell their testimony, because it was today, I forgot what that was. It was on the different, you know, the different ads that they have in, in between the videos and stuff like that when they're doing um, paid ads. And they had Dennis Rodman on there. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> I was like, is that Dennis Rodman? And they said something because he was trying to unalive himself and he had broke down crying. I mean, I was just like, you know, I'm like, oh my God, I can feel it from over here, you know, and it's just like you're becoming more attuned with the world. And that means you have to be able to really shield yourself because there's a lot of things that you're feeling. And there's a lot of things that, you know, is heightening for you because it's just like, even though when I'm talking, I can hear the ringing. You know, the ringing and it's getting very intense. I got to make sure I'm like, oh, okay, I got you. You know, and you're going through these different things. And even when I'm talking, it's like I feel my heart chakra. It's just like it's cracking. I know uh, one of the girls that I seen that was on the timeline was a tarot card reader. And she was like, oh, my God, you know, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. I said, you have to understand, you know, um, you're going through, you, you're, you're going through a, 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 like a whole new upgrade. When you're going through a whole new upgrade, you're going through a, a factory reset. And when you're going through a factory reset, it's like your top of your head is going to be tingling and itching really bad, you know, um, because you're, you're receiving a lot of upgrades and downloads. And a lot of that, you're purging out a lot of things. And it's just like ego. It's like, no, well, I'm not leaving. You No, it was your 30 days are up. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. You know, it, it's hauling out the door. You know, I'm, I'm ready to be at peace. I'm ready to, you know, get real with myself. I'm ready to get aggressive with myself. I ain't got time to be thinking about stuff I can't change. I ain't got time for people that don't want to heal. I ain't got time for people that's mad and hating on me and want to distract. I don't have time for all that. I'm sending love and light and going to this and let me focus on myself. And you're getting real serious with yourself. And you see what things you, you're our only competition with your, yourself five minutes ago. You know, people may want to even put you in competition. I'm like, you be doing that mess by yourself. The only person I'm super competing against is what I was five minutes ago. What is for you is going to be for you. What is for me is going to be. I'm not chasing nobody else's blessings, blocking nobody else's blessings. I'm working on mine. And that's going to be it. Point blank, period, poo. You know, it would be one of those situations. And you're going through these different things. You're playing the heck out of that book that you got. You're on your last book. And don't even realize your butt done picked up a joke, a joke, an ace and three spades. you you going to get that. You know, and you're getting that. And you be looking like, man, I don't know how I'm going to do this. And not realizing, you know, you won't let them think that you ain't got no hand. And boom, you done spade it out in the game. You know, and you don't realize you're the unexpected. You They never expected you to be the unexpected. You that twisted that whole mood of a plot. And don't even know that. You Half of the time, we don't even know that. The, th the changes that were taking place in our lives always constantly surprise us. Like, I didn't have that, you know, I was that type of person that didn't really speak up for myself. Or I was that person I always had to be rah, rah, amped up, which is me. You know, I had to be all those type of things. You go tit for tat and I had to go higher. You want to go lower, I'm going to go lower. Now it's just like, is this supporting the places I'm trying to reach? Is this supporting the pinnacles I'm trying to get to? You know, is this the situation? I had to be able to allow myself to stop worrying about what people eavesdropping, watching, recording, all this stuff. You know, going through different things like that. And it becomes triggering. And I had to allow myself to understand, you know, you, you're at that point in life that everything, you're, you're at, at this point in life where you're doing a major shift into your life. Where you're actually seeing all the beautiful things that came from ugly situations. You know, being grateful for every every knockdown drag out change you don't went through things that just really made you feel like I, I can't get up after this I can't you know revive after this I can't revive myself after this you know you're going through you know situations where you're projecting out the new you and that's not easy you 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 on that cusp 
you know you off on that situation you no longer on that Toys R Us you know effect you know and the Toys R Us effect is like I'm a Toys R Us kid I don't want to grow up you know there's a lot of people that want to be in that effect you, you know, I'm like no I don't, I'm too old to be shopping I gotta get my grandbaby something but I, I, I don't play with toys you know and doing those things and you're understanding there's gonna be a point in our lives where you're gonna appreciate those downfalls that you had you're gonna appreciate the people that did not believe in you you're gonna appreciate the people that counted you out you gonna appreciate those people that felt like your life was gonna be damned 24 7 365 you're gonna appreciate all those things because that made you want to work harder that made you want to love harder for self that made you want to make sure you had boundaries up where you were not welcoming anything that was going to drain you now it's at that point when you get drained it's because you're working hard on yourself you're helping not just yourself but other people that being able to know that you can help yourself as well what we're dealing with is not easy but you get a whole new glow up plan when your butt finally graduates you know i ain't there yet but i'm feeling something you know, you're going through those different things and it's not easy to do. You're doing this every single day. And you know, you can't sit up here and say, oh, for the whole week, I'm not going to allow anything to bother me, anything to trick me, anything that's going to make me fall back short 10, 10, 20 paces back. You know, but you can allow yourself to say, I'm going to move through this day the best way I know how and the most positive way I can. I may fall short, but I'm not going to place that on my person. But I know that my back is protected my front and my side to side is always protected i'm highly loved these things that come into contact with me may shake me up but this is something i had there was something about that shake up that maybe i needed to come aware about with myself that's why i love doing videos because it allows me to see clarity in certain ways it's like i'll be freestyling all the time and like that it made me feel good you know i'm mean, like girl preach i said i ain't preaching i'm just speaking you know going through my views and visions you know you go through these different things in life where you feel like nobody really understands you you know or you speaking different things and people some people you connect with is closed-minded they can't think outside that box they put their self in and it's okay that just basically say that message was for you and a lot of times if they don't understand they think you crazy because it definitely wasn't meant for them because like guys like my child if this was something for them i would have told them don't tell them that if you led to tell somebody you, you'll know you'll know that spark when you did because sometimes you get choked up on your words and you start you know and you you're the type of person that don't jump on your words and that'll let you know you, you throw something out there a little bit i remember one time i was in walmart and we were talking about something and this woman me and this woman just started talking or whatever and we we're in the line and this is before the pandemic thing or whatever and we were just talking and I think it was just like the energy in Walmart, you know, because I used to always go in there and I used to have my sunglasses on, my earphones in, because I was just too daggone sensitive and didn't know how to protect myself and stuff like that. And the woman was like, oh my God, I was talking about, you know, off off the wall projection and stuff like that. And she was like, wow, I was just talking about this too. And you, when you throw something out there, you are say, oh, this is part of the tribe, or they trying to know, or it'll be a, just a little nudge of the universe is saying, hey, tell them this, you know, this is something they connect with and just so happen. You know, you be having a question within your life and you're trying to understand, where is it taking me? Where am I leading? Where am I supposed to go? Where am I following? You know, do I need to rest? Do I need to press pause? You know, differently, where is my GPS? You know, in those situations, and the universe will guide somebody to talk to you. And you end up speaking and you answer the question that you were already searching for before. They always tell you, you know, your, your answers lie inside. If not, it's coming towards you. And when you're allowing yourself to stay open, when you're allowing yourself, don't be hard on yourself. You know, you have a slip up. It's like, dang, I allowed myself to, you know, skip back and go towards the back, you know, uh, towards the past again. You know, something that irked my nerves or something like that or something I, I was doubting in myself. And it's just like you become mad with yourself it'd be times you mad at yourself for being mad in situations where you know this this is unfolding for you you're learning yourself more you're learning learning in your surroundings you're leveling up this is like every chapter you're going through you want every new levels different devils you know things become harder things gonna come up when you start testing people you know there'll be different things they tell you Shh, move in silence people can't stop what they can't see they can't destroy what they can't see you you know you keeping people from an arm's length you love you know you loving people there's some people you got love from a distance you forgiving people just because you forgive people don't mean you got to bring them back in your life just say oh i can forgive you and really forgive you and move on a lot of people are like i don't want your forgiveness i want to give you hell you know it's just like no you being stuck in your own i've been there i got restraining devil put a restraining on me i can't be there 
You know, and it's like I got to be 10 million sofas away, you know, and not be there. But, you know, being in those different situations, it will really make you look at life differently. Look at situations like, Dad, you know, why didn't I know this before? It's like, don't even get off and, you know, uh, miss opportunities. Like, I wish I would have said this. I wish I, you know, I've been there. You know, I've been there. I was like, oh, I would have had a smart comeback for this. But it's just a lot of things don't even need your reaction to it because that was a reaction. You already know. You know, because me and my mouth, I've been cutting folks for words. I ain't even got to cut you for real. I can just use my words and it's already, your, your head is way over there. You know, and it'll be that point. But now it's just like, now I just sit up here and see, oh, you're projecting. Oh, you're in your ego. Oh, you're, you're, you're an inferior issue, right? Okay. Don't even got to respond to it. Like, you ain't going to say no. You ain't got no response. That was my response. Nothing. <laughs> Your response half of the time. Silence is deadly. You know, when you're not giving something attention, it craves for it, it irks it. So you have to be able to, oh, you, you need attention today. Oh, okay. Well, you're not eating it from me. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I got other things to do right now. You know, go, go, go deal with something else you know you have to be in that vibration but you're appreciating yourself now more you're thinking before you speak being mindful and discerning you know being able to know your words have consequences your choices have consequences you know even when you're seeing different things where you know enemy might have hurt you and you're seeing karma come back to back to back you don't applaud their suffering you know and a lot of times you be wanting to be like that's what your ass get i told you to leave me alone you know what you didn't want to listen you don't want to be on that you don't want to be on that. You just allow yourself to press pray, prayers and, and lay hands of prayer on them. I'm talking about laying hands and knocking somebody out. Lay prayers. You got to pray for your enemies. Because the fact is when you start rejoicing during somebody else's sorrow, you become them. And that's how you block your own blessings by hating on somebody else. You do that. And you're seeing those different things in life. You don't, you know, because a lot of times, you know, you can get at that point where you're waiting for karma to hit. You're like, oh, I'm ready for that. You know, I'm ready for that truth serum to really come out. And it's just like, you know, I've said that in the video before. You can't be on those type of situations. This is at that time. It's like even when you get, you know, it, you can be that person where you got monitors all over the place on you. And it's like people are focused so much on you and not realizing your life is slipping away while you're focusing on something that really is not your business. You know, and you'll be doing the exact same thing. You could be working on your growth. You can be working on your healing. You could be working on what, what next step you're trying to go through. You know, if you sit up here looking at, you know, at a door and there'll be blessings is coming left and right. But you're so focused on, on whatever that karmic is over there. When you, you already know, universe going to have you set. If it's meant for you to see it, you're going to see it all the time. And then the universe like, you going to laugh at that? No. Okay. You know, even though you saying no, if you laughing and sticking on the inside, I'm like, uh-uh, I ain't about to laugh at that. You ain't about to sit up here and smack me with no karma just because you, you know, mm-mm. I used to be like that. Now I'm just like, no, nah, I'm not them. I'm not going to rejoice after somebody's pain. I know what that feels like, you know, and I'm the one who didn't even, you know, even deserve it. But it's at that point I had to grow up. I had to heal, you know, not focusing on things like that. Because, you know, if it's truly meant for you to be able to see that person catch whatever they're catching just for dealing with you, God is going to allow you to see that. Just like God going to allow you allow them to see you get blessed, you going to allow yourself to see they're going to get their blessings of enlightenment too. Because we're all going through blessings and enlightenment. It's all about what you, how you say it. And what, it, it could be karmic. Or this can be enlightenment. Because it's all enlightenment. They're showing you by your choices. Of playing the wrong hand. Trying to sit up here and lie about what hand you got. Or you, you sit up here to letting the, the opponent know your whole hand. You got to hold that book up. Regardless of you ain't got no winning cards in your hand. You're going to have to be able to do that. And you better play them and play them very well. You know, we're all learning. We're all growing. We all make mistakes. I had to get out my vibe of just ready to be New Jersey headhunter. On everybody that did some dirt to me. Now I'm just like... I'm moving. When I know I'm moving good, good things going to happen for me. I may not see it right now. I may not realize it now or even know. You know, but I know if I'm moving in good intention, good is going to happen for me. If you're moving in bad intention, bad is going to catch up to you. Whatever you pushing out, whatever you reap, you sow. Whatever bad you, you have, you done made, you're going to have to sleep in it. You know, all those different things you cannot run away from karma. Karma don't never lose an address. They know you. There's one thing you can't escape. You can escape Jehovah Witness, forgive me daddy, uh, the bill collectors, you know, maybe the popos, you know, at times. But you can't sit up here and run from karma. Karma will always catch up to you. It's at that point right now where the universe is saying, you know, 
pain gonna keep on happening until you experience that, learn from it, so it can move on. You're gonna keep it, you know, keep going through that. So you're going through those different things. You're playing that hand, even though if you feel like you you can lose the win. You can win to lose. It's just up to your choice. We don't have a choice on what our cards were dealt. But it's all about how you choose to go about it. A lot of times you're placed in situations where you feel like there's no joy of come up that's going to come from this situation. There's no good that can come out of a tragic situation like this. There's nothing good that can come out of me of where I got discarded. And that was just a point. They, you, they, you, uh, there's a lot of minds that think like that. There's a lot of minds to think like there is nothing good can come out of that situation. And is God put you in that situation just because there has there are so many people that thinking you can't bring nothing good out of the most harshest, effed up situation you could ever be in. And you even shock yourself when you have the biggest glow up of all because that's what God planned it like that. Your story is his story. Okay. Not just history, but his story is gonna be breaking bonds. You know, you break in chains in so many different ways. So you make sure you play your cards and play them well, okay? But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Let me give a post notification shout out to Lamb Sauce. Much love to you. Welcome to the fam. God Kong's uh Zella Khan, much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, drop a line. I would sure enough love to be able to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Leave all my contact information in the description box below. And as well, uh, it's just all about spiritual networking. You know, there's a lot of things that we go through. We're not really prideful to be wanting to talk about. People might think that you don't want to be judged. You don't want to be called crazy. And a lot of people are like, Rosalind, is this normal? We are hey because there's nothing we do as normal or surprising to me anymore. You know, you can be walking up on the ceiling with two lambs and a biscuit. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm like, shoot, where the pig at? You know, is the moon, you know, cow gonna fly over the moon? You know, some crazy stuff like that. You know, I don't judge anybody. As long as you don't harm animals, children, or old folks, we good. We are definitely good. You know, I try my best to be able to help out the best way we can. You know, it's all about growing our tribe. You know, there's so much hate. And, you know, in comparison in the world, it's like we need to stop doing that. Come into union. Being able, all of us can win. You know, all of us can win. We don't have to bring somebody down to come up. We don't do that. So, just being able to help out and be teacher-student situations. Because there will be different things I may not know that you know. Or vice versa. You know, we're all learning. And ain't never too old to find out new things. So, it's just being able to help out the best way we can. Whatever we speak on is confidential. And if you like podcasting as well, I have that on my community channel. As well as, you know, empath memes. You know, just things that, you know, can really bring you up during the day. You know, you may be having a hard day. You know, and just bringing some positive posts in. You know, different things like a friendly reminder or food for thought or um you know things that are just funny just to give you a good laugh you know a lot of times you gotta laugh to keep from crying so you know as our hey oka charm we bring in a little silliness you know the trickster the gest gesture so being able to do that and if you feel generous enough to drop a donation towards the channel cash app is in the description box below whatever kind of vibes you're needing to be able to you know continue staying persistent consistent with yourself being determined and motivated i'm saying all that to you you know if you got to take a break take your time out to rest but don't quit you know you got somebody out there that's praying for you to make sure that you get everything you deserve plus more especially if you know you've been working hard for it and it just seemed life is falling short for you so you deserve everything plus so much more you know i hope you have a blessed prosperous safe weekend please be responsible in everything you do and you know even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words vibes frequencies you never know all those things can really take you a long way just because you're doing it with no intentions uh behind the situation it'll take you even further so much love namaste god bless peace shalom i say